Shalom. Let me start by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha, Kodash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the house of David. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the world calls God. Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Heavenly Father, His only begotten Son, who the world refers to as Jesus Christ, Bahasham, is in the name Racha, Kodash, is the Holy Spirit. And also, Shalom to the 144,000 men that's laboring in this truth for the sake of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. And Shalom to the innumerable multitude, men, women, and children that may be listening in all truth and a sincerity. Shalom. And this is your brother Kodash coming back here with another video through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. And uh, just flowing through the spirit here, you know, the Lord, he's going to, he's strategically breaking down America. Okay, you, you're seeing, uh, the, uh, you're hearing about the food shortages. We're seeing the food shortages when we go into these different supermarkets. Okay. Uh, we're seeing the prices of gas going up. Okay. Uh, it was um, it was an article uh, just the other day saying the gas stations are pre uh, are reprogramming the pumps to be at $10, man. Okay. You know, so these are the times that we're coming into, and the Lord is slowly doing it. We, gas is already at five dollars, man. You know, they've should, they've increased it more and more. Really, the Lord increasing it more and more. Okay, to now it's at five dollars, man. Strategically, man. So the Lord is is uh, hitting this place, you know, with the uh, with the jabs, so to speak, and then soon he's going to lay the haymaker, man. All right, be a a pleat, a complete. Wipe down. They're already talking about blackouts this summer, man. Okay, when the Lord shuts down the internet, you know, then that famine of the word, okay, you know, then hey, all all hell going to break loose here, man. It's real soon, but it's not going to happen all at one time. Strategically, is is happening, man, but you have to be paying attention to prophecy to see that. Let me actually start with uh, 2 Ezra chapter 9, verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. So the Lord is saying, measure the time diligently. We measure the time diligently through prophecy. Okay, seeing is it's going to be a famine. Okay, the Lord said, uh, famine, destruction, plagues. Let me get that here. So you measure the times that we're in through prophecy. Uh, this is Second Ezra chapter 16, starting at verse 21. It says, Behold, victuals shall be so good, cheap upon earth, that they thou think themselves to be in good case. So we was once at that time, you know, things being so cheap. Even now, it's still a little cheap, but it, that that inflation, that, that price of food, everything is, is, has gone up. It says, so these people are not, as, not in such of a good case anymore. It says, and even then shall evils grow upon earth. So we're in that time of, of troubling times, evil, going back to troubling times of that growing. Okay, so it's going to increase. It says, swore famine and great confusion, man. So this famine is going to hit. Okay, the swore, uh, more deaths. Scripture says that when, uh, when iniquity, uh, the love of many is going to wax cold because iniquity is abounding, man. So the love of many is waxing cold. More people are dying. Swore famine and great confusion. Great confusion is going on around this place. You already uh, spiritually great confusion. People are bugged out. Uh, trannies. So many sodomites. They're, they are confused. Okay. You got people confused, not, not knowing what's going on. Believing in these different doctrines, man. These different wands of Babylon. Okay, they're all drunken off the wine of Babylon. All right, that's these philosophies. Verse 22, for many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine. So a lot of people 
are going to die from a lack of food, from that famine. It says, for many of them, for many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine. So many, man. Many men is going to die from famine. That's men and women. It says, and the other that escaped the hunger shall the sword destroy. So the Lord is going to destroy you, okay, by an instrument of death. It could be gun, somebody gun you down, somebody stab you, nuclear missiles, a wild beast going to get, coming to, go, coming to get you, man. It says, uh, shall the sword destroy. Verse 23, and the dead shall be cast out as dung, as feces, man. It says, and there shall be no man to comfort them. So people are going, aren't going to mourn. They're not going to have time to bury you. It says, for the earth shall be wasted and the cities shall be cast down. And these things are slowly happening to Babylon the Great, man. This place is little by little getting broken down, man. This is um, the book of Exodus, chapter 23. And uh, I'll just get to the point. You know, speaking of, uh, when you go into this chapter, speaking of um, escaping Egypt, you know, we had the, uh, we had Yahweh Shai God in us. And um, I'm going to just start that verse. I'm going to start at verse 27. It says, I will send my fear, Exodus 23 and 27, I will send my fear before thee and will destroy all the people to whom thou shalt come. And I will make all thy enemies turn their backs unto thee. And this is what the Lord is going to be doing for the elect. Okay. You know, this time around. You know, this is going to be the elect getting this uh, treatment. Lord willing, we are that number. It says, and I will send hornets before thee, which shall drive out the Hivite, the Canaanite, and the Hittite from before thee. I will not drive them out from before thee in one year, lest the land become desolate and the beasts of the field multiply against thee. By little and little, I will drive them out from before thee. So this is how the Lord... Is going to be uh, driving out uh, our enemies now, okay? Our top enemy, you know, the one that has the rulership, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. The Lord is little by little going to take him out of rulership, little by little, with the famine, with the collapse of this, uh, with the collapse of the society, man. Little by little, the Lord is going to collapse America, man. The dollar is going to collapse. Famine. Price is going up, man. It says, by little and little, I will drive them out before thee until thou, until thou be increased and inherit the land. You know, so the Lord is spiritually doing that for us now. All right. Until we, uh, as we increase more and more spiritually, getting more and more purified, the Lord is going to uh, drive out our enemies. Okay, but the Lord, he's going to burn this place, man, to put us in a new land. Let me get uh, Jeremiah 16 and verse. Come mm -hmm. 16 and I'm going to start at verse 14. It says, therefore, the days come, saith the Lord, Jeremiah 16 and 14, therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, Yahweh, that it shall no more be said, the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, liveth, that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt, but the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, liveth, that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north, okay? 
and this is North America, and from all the lands whither he had driven them, because we were scattered abroad. And I will bring them into their into their land that I have that I gave unto their fathers. That's this this the kingdom of heaven, man. Okay? Paradise. It says Yeah, that's pretty much the point there. Well, Mary 16 says, Behold, I was sent for many fishers, saith the Lord, and they shall fish them. You know, so the Lord is uh, sending his his elect men out there to prophesy this word, fishing in the elect, uh, the scriptures being the bait. It says, And after I will send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill, and out of the holes of the rocks, we're going to hunt our enemies. Once the Lord bestows his uh, ultimate power, give us those spiritual powers, okay, and the new bodies. It says, verse 17, for, for mine eyes are upon all their ways. They are not hid from my face. Neither is their iniquity hid from mine eyes. See, the Lord sees everything, man. Okay, so... Esau Edom, you know, he's he's going to be guilty. He's going to be found guilty. He's not going to be guiltless. Because the Lord is the all-seeing power. Eyes a thousand times brighter than the sun. Beholding all the ways of men. Okay. Says the, uh, the Lord's eyes is upon this place, man. Verse 18, I've, and first I will recompense their iniquity and their sin double because they have defiled my land. You know, a reward unto them double, as the scriptures say, man. It says, they have filled my inheritance with the carcasses of their detestable and abominable things. Idol, idol God worship, you know. Uh, selling abominations, man. This place is detestable. This place is an abomination. Okay, this place is filthy, man. Spiritually and physically filthy. It says, right, remember, you were 19 as well. It says, Oh Lord, yeah, how are my strength? And my fortress and my refuge in the day of affliction, the Gentiles shall come unto thee from the ends of the earth and shall say, Surely our fathers have inherited lies, vanity, and things wherein there is no profit, man. Okay, this place is filled with vanity. That's why I was in, in Ecclesiastes, you know, King Solomon, which is really how shy, you know, all this vanity under the sun, man. You know? Besides this truth, man, everything is vanity. It says, verse 20, shall a man make gods unto himself, and they are no gods? Therefore, behold, I will, I will this once cause them to know. I will cause them to know my hand and my might, and they shall know that my name is the Lord, Yahweh. Okay, hey, the Lord is going to make his... His name known on this earth, man. The Lord is slowly breaking this place down, man. And you have to be blind to see it. You have to be spiritually blind to, to not be able to see it, man. So with that, you know, Lord willing, this video is edifying. I'm going to close, give all praise, honor, and glory. Unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha, Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and mercy to the house of David, and to the next lesson I say Shalom and a Baba Ball. Shalom.